This is CBS 2 News. Hello, I'm Mike Puccinelli with CBS 2 Chicago. Today, community organizers are going door to door to try and rally residents to take back their neighborhoods as Chicago police target one far south side neighborhood as part of Operation Cleanup. Streets and sanitation crews cleaned up graffiti on buildings all along 103rd Street in Roseland yesterday. City crews also cleared vacant lots. Chicago police say this is part of the all hands on deck approach the mayor says is needed to fight violent crime in some 60 hot spots all around the city. Makes me feel real good and secure to know that we are finally getting a change to come in our neighborhood. And we all we always see the out in the suburbs, the beautiful neighborhoods, you know, clean and everything. So to see it come to our neighborhood, it is awesome. Operation cleanup will continue over the next four days. Some people in the south suburbs will have to boil their tap water all weekend long after coliform bacteria was found in water samples there. The mandatory boil order goes for the entire village of Park Forest until at least Monday. Tap water should be boiled for five minutes before using it. Park Forest officials say they will continue sampling water over the weekend to isolate that contamination. Now, Park Forest says its issues are not related to water problems in nearby University Park. That's just 10 minutes away. Hundreds of homes there remain under a do not consume order for their tap water after alarming levels of lead were detected. Well, tonight, the White Sox host the Cubs in the return series, the Crosstown Classic at Guaranteed Rate Field. Both teams were off Friday, and that meant a big surprise for the audience at Miracle the Musical. Yep, that's Kyle Schwarber in the middle. He sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game last night during intermission. Miracle is set against the backdrop of the Cubs winning the World Series in 2016. It's playing at the Royal George Theater through Labor Day. Now let's turn to meteorologist Rob Ellis. Hello. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty nice afternoon. We do have a chance for a few isolated storms. Most of these are through the early part of the day through about maybe one or two. And then we also have the winds picking up out of the northeast at 10 to 15, maybe as high as 20 miles per hour. And along the lake, we are going to have some dangerous waves, maybe even some lakeshore flooding. But look at your temperatures. 80 degrees expected to be our high temperature tonight. We see any leftover storms wrapping up and a drier forecast is in place. 64 expected. Look at the seven forecast 80s for a couple of days. That's your weekend. The sunshine continues through Sunday through Monday. We bring a couple of clouds back in as the temperatures warm back up on Tuesday. We bring another chance for scattered storms to arrive on Wednesday. Mike. All right. Thanks so much for the latest headlines day or night. Head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Mike Cuccinelli. Have a great day, folks. We'll see you.